In this video, we'll be going through the top 7 best things to do in Puerto Rico. Starting at number 7 is Flamenco Beach, which is absolutely gorgeous. The white sandy beaches and clear waters will take your breath away. The beach is surrounded by lush tropical vegetation and it's home to a variety of wildlife such as iguanas and hermit crabs. It's a little slice of paradise. Plus, it's located on the island of Culebra, which is a nature reserve, so it's relatively undeveloped. That means you'll have plenty of seclusion, peace, and quiet. I mean, just imagine yourself lounging on the beach and feeling the cool ocean breeze on your skin. It's also the perfect spot for swimming, snorkeling, and sunbathing. But don't just take our word for it, Flamenco Beach is consistently ranked as one of the best beaches in the Caribbean and has even been voted as one of the top 10 beaches in the world by several travel publications, and it's not hard to see why. With its stunning natural beauty and peaceful atmosphere, it's no wonder why it's one of the top destinations in Puerto Rico. It's a beach destination that you'll never forget. Number 6 on this list is the El Yunque National Forest. This tropical rainforest located in northeastern Puerto Rico is the only one of its kind in the United States National Forest System and is bursting with natural beauty and excitement. First off, let's talk about the hiking trails. The trails in El Yunque are phenomenal. You'll get to explore the dense jungle, take in the breathtaking waterfalls, and soak in the stunning vistas. Don't worry if you're not an experienced hiker. There are trails for all skill levels. But that's not all. El Yunque is also a fantastic spot for picnics, bird watching, and even swimming in natural pools. You can float in a crystal clear pool surrounded by abundant greenery. It's like something out of a dream. Plus, the El Portal Visitor Center is a great way to learn about the forest's history and ecology. And let's not forget about the coqui, the small frog that is the symbol of Puerto Rico. They are everywhere in the forest, and their songs at night are truly a unique and enchanting experience. El Yunque is also an important ecological site, with many endangered and unique species found only in this area. It's a great opportunity to learn about biodiversity and conservation efforts to protect it. So pack your bags and get ready for an adventure of a lifetime in the El Yunque National Forest. Number 5 on the list is Cayo Santiago, also known as Monkey Island. This small island located off in the eastern coast of Puerto Rico is known for its population of free-ranging rhesus macaques, a type of monkey which has been studied by scientists for decades. Visitors to the island can take guided tours led by researchers and staff, which provide an in-depth look at the monkeys and their behavior, and even get up close and personal with these adorable creatures. It's not only monkeys that makes this island so special. It also boasts beautiful beaches, cliffs, and a diverse array of plant life. It's a great place to relax, unwind, and enjoy the natural beauty of the Caribbean. Access to the island is by boat only, and the number of visitors is limited, making it feel like a private island escape. If you plan on visiting Cayo Santiago, be sure to plan ahead and make reservations in advance to make the most out of your visit to Cayo Santiago. If you are finding this video useful so far, do subscribe for more daily travel videos. On to number 4, Plaza Las Americas. Let me tell you why it's one of the top places to visit in Puerto Rico. For starters, it's the largest mall in the Caribbean, so you know it's going to be big and have a ton of options. They have over 200 stores, which means you can definitely find what you're looking for, whether it's clothes, electronics, jewelry, or anything else. Plus, there are a lot of international brands that you may not be able to find anywhere else on the island. However, it's not just about shopping. There's also a great food court where you can grab a bite to eat, a full-size movie theater, and a bunch of fun activities for the whole family, as well as an arcade. It's a popular spot for locals and tourists, so you'll get to experience a bit of the local culture too. And the best part is, it's a safe and comfortable environment so you can relax and enjoy your day. If you're ever in Puerto Rico, definitely check out Plaza Las Americas. Now, are you looking for a fun and exciting way to spend a day in Puerto Rico? Look no further than Las Cascadas Water Park. Number 3 on this list is this incredible water park that used to be the large aquatic park in Puerto Rico and may still hold that title. But even if it doesn't, it's still a top destination for families and people who love water parks in general. The Las Cascadas offers a wide variety of thrilling water rides, slides, and attractions that will keep you entertained for hours. Whether you're a thrill seeker looking for the ultimate adrenaline rush or just looking to cool off and relax, there's something for everyone here. 
For the more adventurous, they have high-speed slides and tube rides, and for those who prefer something more relaxed, they have a lazy river and wave pool. Las Cascadas Water Park also offers a number of amenities to make your day as comfortable as possible. They have cabanas where you can relax and enjoy some shade and food and beverage options so you can fuel up and keep the fun going. And with all these amenities, you can make a full day out of your visit. Number two on the list is Old San Juan, which is an absolute must-see destination when you're visiting Puerto Rico. This historic neighborhood is full of vibrant energy, with cobbled streets, busy plazas, and colorful homes that stack together like building blocks of yellow, blue, green, orange, and turquoise. It's truly one of the most beautiful and vibrant places to visit in Puerto Rico. One of the best things about Old San Juan is that it's very walkable, allowing you to easily explore the area on foot. The streets are lined with historic buildings, many of which are painted in bright hues, giving the area a lively and vibrant feel. The architecture in Old San Juan is a mix of Spanish colonial and Caribbean influences, which adds to the charm of the area. Old San Juan is also a shopper's paradise, with plenty of art galleries and shops selling local crafts. You can also find a variety of cafes and restaurants where you can sample some of Puerto Rico's delicious local cuisine. Along with shopping and dining options, Old San Juan also has several museums that showcase the history, art, and culture of Puerto Rico, such as the Museum of San Juan, the Museum of Art of Puerto Rico, and the Museum of the Americas. But it's not just the shops, restaurants, and museums that make Old San Juan a must-see destination, it's also the lively atmosphere and friendly locals. You'll find people gathering in the lively plazas to chat and play games. It's a great place to experience the local culture and lifestyle. Number one on the list of best things to do in Puerto Rico will take you off the beaten path and allow you to indulge in a unique dining experience, and that is Piñones. Honestly, it's not a city, it's not really a neighborhood, it's mostly just a strip of land along a local highway where people go to eat. But trust me, it's an incredibly unique place. What makes Piñones different from other food destinations in Puerto Rico is the wide variety of traditional Caribbean dishes that you can find at the roadside food stalls. These food stalls are the specialty of Piñones. You can find everything from sweet fried bananas to savory meat dishes like lechon asado and pernil, as well as rice bowls filled with pork and pigeon peas known as arroz con gandules and many other local delicacies you'll find different types of food vendors, from street food carts to small restaurants, all serving delicious traditional Caribbean food. The unique atmosphere in Piñones is one of a kind. It's lively, colorful, and friendly. You'll find locals and tourists alike mingling and enjoying the delicious food in a laid-back Caribbean vibe. It's a great place to try something new and enjoy a taste of local culture. Plus, you'll get to rub elbows with locals and hear some of the most interesting stories. Piñones is one of the best places to get a taste of the local culture. With its delicious traditional Caribbean dishes, vibrant atmosphere, and humble residents, it's a great place to try something new and have a truly authentic dining experience. So, when you next visit Puerto Rico, be sure to check out Piñones. If you found this video helpful, do support us by subscribing to our channel and smashing that like button. Also, comment down below your thoughts. Thanks for watching and happy travels!